The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint. Hey folks, Fred Dolafaro here for the Fisherman's Video Forecast this week. Uh, Montauk cod fishing bounced back uh, pretty nicely with the nice weather on Tuesday. Uh, both the Viking Star and the Miss Montauk 2 were able to get away from the dock. Uh, over on the Viking Star, Captain Steve said uh, he reported they had fish on every drop uh, with some very good drifts mixed in with 20 more fish on each of those drifts. A lot of big ling also uh, in the catch. Uh, pool fish on Tuesday was 16 pounds. Um, none of the boats looked like they were getting out uh, on Wednesday with the uh, with that blow coming, but all of them hope to get out on Thursday. Uh, over on the Miss Montauk 2, uh, Jamie said that uh, they managed to put a, a catch together. Um, they had a good pick going, but then they lost the drift, and the rest of the trip was kind of quiet. Uh, but the fish are there, and with a string of uh, some nice weather, we should be able to put some cod fillets in the in the freezer. Uh, weather looks good for the end of the week too, and uh, like I said, both both those boats should be hitting the cod grounds again real soon. Um, down the South Shore, different story. Ever since uh, that big snowstorm, uh, the fishing's uh, really took a turn uh, for the worst. Uh, Captured Princess got out on Sunday, and Rob told me just a few caught on the boat, a couple of mackerel and pollock. Uh, his next trip he was planning for February 6th, which is this coming Saturday. Uh, same deal on the Captain Al. Just, uh, he did get out on Tuesday in that nice weather. Um, maybe it was too nice. You know, conditions uh, were tough. Only a couple of cod caught on the boat, along with some wing. They did have some nice tog, which of course had to be returned. Uh, he was shooting to get out uh, today, Thursday. Uh, Connecticut State Park uh, opened up this week, uh, opened up yesterday. Um, and, you know, they, they have been st uh, stocking it much more heavily than they were initially, um, so you do have a shot at getting uh, some decent fishing in there. It's open from Wednesdays to Sundays uh, during the winter, two sessions, 8 a.m. and noon. It's 20 bucks, and uh, it's fly fishing only and catch and release only. Uh, you want to reserve a session, you can call 631-581-1005. Uh, outside the park, trout fishing has generally been slow this winter, <coughs> despite some very mild stretches of weather. White perch reports have been slim also. Um, the good news is herring is still hanging in there. Uh, again, the mild weather is helping that fishing out, I'm sure. Uh, Spoke to Vinny over at Bernie's. Uh, he said both uh, the Coney Island and Canarsie Piers have still been producing some good catches of herring. And uh, aside from the fishing, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, you have the Route 110 flea market coming up. That's usually one of the better flea markets on the island. It's held at Camelot Hall on Route 110, it's just south of the LIE, kind of across from the Huntington Hilton. Um, that runs from 9 to 3 p.m., so you have plenty of time to get to your Super Bowl parties and stock up on, uh, on snacks and such. Uh, admission is 5 bucks. The following weekend, uh, we've got the New York Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction. That's a good show, very localized show. Uh, it's at the Freeport Rec Center. It runs from Friday to Sunday. There's lots of good seminars throughout, throughout the show, and the auction takes place on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Hey, until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro for thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint.